Both sides basically agreed to use their influence to start a ceasefire for two days, if it lasts, then for a week. After that, they're going to coordinate strikes on Al-Qaeda affiliates in Syria, and they're going to help get humanitarian aid to besieged cities. The U.S. wanted this deal. It's really a plea by Secretary Kerry and President Obama to stop the barrel bombing, to stop the use of chlorine gas by Assad on citizens, to save lives and get food to suffering people. The U.S. sees it as the last best chance to save lives. The Russians, what do the Russians want out of this? The Russians want help in fighting al-Nusra, the main dagger that's pointed towards President Assad, the main threat to the survival of President Assad. Secondly, the Russians want legitimation, outside legitimation of their effort in Syria. And there's nothing like the good old U.S. of A to bring that help. I don't think this deal is going to hold. I think there are many obstacles. The president of Syria, Bashar al-Assad, is not going to really stop fighting until the lines of control significantly shift and he controls most of Western Syria. Moreover, the deal involves separating quote unquote terrorists from quote unquote sane rebels. But they're co-located, they fight together. How are we going to separate them? I don't know. Third, the deal involves getting humanitarian aid to key Syrian cities. but. Neither side has guaranteed access to humanitarian aid groups to those cities. More generally, the Russians have a real bad track record on their commitments. They tend to agree to ceasefires in Ukraine and Syria, and they, don't, they just don't respect them. So all in, I don't expect this to get us all that far. Despite the fact that this deal will not hold for very long, it's still worth doing. As long as it holds, people won't be killed at the same rate they're being killed. As long as it holds, People who are starving and have no medicine will get food and medicine. So that it's not a panacea, it's not a silver bullet. This won't end the crisis, but the deal is worth it and it is commendable.